Hello everybody, this is Toolslab. In this video we will learn about utilizing After Effects to zoom, move and to change the colors through distorted lens effects. On the left is the original image and on the right is the image after the effects process. Okay then. Let's get started. In this video we will use After Effects. Please follow my steps slowly. I will proceed with the workspace in standard mode. Click New Composition. Make the width and height 1000 pixels each in duration for 4 seconds. Then click OK. Go to File, Import, File to Open Image. I'll open this image. Drag the image to composition. Make two copies of it by pressing Ctrl C, after that, press Ctrl V twice. Go to Effect and Preset. Search CC Lens. CC Lens is below the Distort folder. Drag CC Lens to Layer. Now we can see image has changed. Let's click eyeball icons to see what happened. And then make active back. Click first layer and then go to effect control space. I'll type 40 pixels for lens size. Click effect CC lens and center. First, let's change the position in 0 second. Position transition makes image location change. Move your bar to 1 second. And change the image position for 2, 3, 4 seconds. As same way. If you move your bar, you can see the image lens moving. It moves like telephoto lens. It's amazing, right? Second layer is same as first. Drag CC lens to layer. Click center. After that, activate timeline and image position. Now, the method is same as first layer. Make your own position. Move bar to zero second back. Now let's change image color. Go to effect and preset. Search hue. Below the color correction, you can see hue and saturation. Drag to layer. Click channel range. And move your bar to 4 seconds. I'll rotate for 4 times. It has applied to first layer. Click U in saturation. Press Ctrl C. And then press Ctrl V to apply it. Now color change has done for all. I'll press spacebar to show rendering. So that's all for tool slabs. Utilize what you learned and make awesome images. 
Just below the video, there is a reference link to the image that I used. Please keep an eye on more videos to come. Thank you so much.